In this video, we'll cover the proper technique for effective treatment, comfort for you and the patient, and operation of the device. Depending on the room, type of chair, and personal preference of the technician, you can treat facing the patient or from behind. The angle of the iPad allows you to hold the handpiece from either position. Placing the chair in a 45 degree or lower position will make it more comfortable for the patient and be easier on the technician during treatment. Place the MIBO on a flat, stable surface within reach to control the touchscreen. If the patient is wearing contacts, they will need to remove them. Also remove any makeup around the eyes to ensure proper heat absorption. Place some of the ultrasound gel on the web of the opposite hand that you'll be holding the handpiece. Have them close their eyes, dab some of the gel onto the iPad, then press start on the touchscreen and the timer will start. Now place the iPad onto the eye and slowly slide it side to side. This will help spread the gel and adjust them to the heat. When using the dual or elite iPad, Make sure that you keep the eyelash line in the center of the iPad. Now hold the iPad in one spot and start with a slight massaging circular motions and light pressure to evenly apply the iPad to make contact with both the upper and lower eyelids. It's good to frequently ask the patient if they are comfortable and to ensure that they're enjoying the treatment. To maximize the deep heating effects, you need to keep the iPad in contact with the skin with slight massaging motion and slowly moving across the eye. Halfway through the treatment, you may feel that the gel has dissipated and you'll want to apply more gel. If you need to add more gel, you will want to remove and dab more gel and quickly reapply to the eye. When the timer expires, have the patient to keep their eyes closed and clean off the excess gel with a tissue you can now have them open their eyes. For treating the next eye, tap anywhere on the screen and you'll see the timer. Press start to treat the next eye. Key things to avoid during treatment that can produce poor results. Lifting the iPad off the skin frequently. Not keeping the iPad evenly on the skin. Moving the iPad around too fast not using the ultrasound gel or mixing other elements into the gel. Cutting the treatment time down too short. The first and second treatments should be minimum of eight minutes per eye. MyBo Thermoflow. 